Good morning, YouTube. Suniti here, 29th, 30th of May, 2015. Looking uh, about uh, 10 months after the pollination of Phalaenopsis. And a couple of weeks ago, I said I didn't know what to do with the pods. But I see that suddenly one has turned quite brown, one has got ridges, and uh, it's opened up. It's what is called dehiscence, which means opening of a pod and it reveals its seeds inside which seem to be have some hairy material fluffy things that are probably carried in the wind uh, so I'm going to put it against the black background of my phone see if you can get a better look so I don't know what to do with it shall I leave it there or put it uh, on top of the orchid because I know it is very difficult to grow seeds um, orchids from seeds so usually you're supposed to put them in flasking medium with some nutrient material to grow on uh, and you can't naturally grow them in, in a pot for example if I put it in there it's not going to work so <laughs> I'm now stuck with not knowing what to do with about a million potential orchids here so um, I've, you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut it off and leave it here inside the pot and uh, see what happens. You know, just leave it to nature because uh, how does it happen in nature? It's quite mysterious. Uh, there's no agar medium or flasking, you know. And uh, nature seems like such a wild shot. Uh, could land anywhere on a road or rock or tree, anywhere. And yet the orchid species has survived. So it must be a matter of chance. The millions and millions and millions of seeds. Uh, are sent out. So uh, I'm going to just uh, see what happens. I just wanted to share with you today the dehiscence of the seed pod of the orchid and what the seeds look like on close-up. Thanks for watching.